Hi guys, hello, hello, it's Darlene with Chaka Tour. Happy Saturday. I need to start saying something else. <laughs> I need to get in the habit of saying something else because I'm not doing Chaka Tour today, but I'm in such a habit of that is my line. So I've got to start doing something. Um, anyways, how is everybody? Happy Saturday. Gosh, um, today has gone by way too quickly. I worked and worked and worked on the website, getting it tweaked in, and then um, had some of you guys went on for me on the Shopify website and went on and checked it out, had good feedback. A um, couple of things that I need to add. I know it's not it's not 100%. So I'm going to say it's probably 90%. We still have a bit to put in there. I also want to go through my videos and put the link from the video to the Shopify, to the kit, um, to like the kit I'm doing today. When I post this onto Shopify, I want to be able to put the link for this. I can't do that in Etsy. Etsy frowns upon you sending them from Etsy to Facebook. Okay, so they frown upon that. They don't want you putting links for other things like that. So um, that's why it hasn't been in Etsy, but on Shopify, I can do a lot of different things. And they really, they're friends with Facebook. So. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to that. So those of you that went in and looked around, thank you so much. And those of you that placed some orders this morning, I appreciate it. It allows us to test it out. Um, the reason, some okay, so some of you weren't on yesterday and we we're talking about this whole thing. Um, and I should make sure I'm live. It shows I'm live. <laughs> so we have actually been working on the Shopify account for over six months, probably longer actually, when I first opened it up and chose a name and all of that. Um, it is, it's a separate website. So basically it's a website that goes through Shopify and it will save us a lot of money. We're paying so many, so much money in fees to Etsy. It's just sickening. We're, we will still keep our Etsy store up for about two months as far as the wood cutouts, the wedding stuff, the picture frames, the cutting boards, that type of stuff will stay there inevitably because we need to be able to reach the world. Okay. So Shopify is basically, I do my tutorial and I say, go grab the kit. And you know, because I've told you the kit's going to be there and you can see it through Facebook. So that's the difference. So now we'll have two different ways and we will no longer be using PayPal. Uh, we will just be using Shopify and cause I can set up a, a custom listing there for you guys. So if you need something, um, you'll just go to Shopify. You'll add everything to the cart. Here's the great thing, guys. So you know how when I send you a link and it's it's a um, a kit. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be able to do a few different things through Shopify. I'm hoping like a custom link that's not public, um, but is only like to you guys. So I'm hoping I can do that and be able to do my chocolate tour kit, but it's um, private. So it's a private link. So it's not out because I can't put it out to everybody. So if it's a private link, I probably can do that. I'm going to find out. So anyways, it will save you money on shipping because it's going to be based on weight and it will save us time from having to refund, refund, refund. We refund at least 50% of every order that comes through Etsy. We refund shipping on it because they overcharge. They charge by by piece and it's hard to get it tweaked in. So this is going to be more accurate, but we still, if there's an issue and, and you're overcharged on Shopify, we will refund that also. We always say if we're within a dollar, we're fine. If we're more than a dollar off than what it actually costs us, then we refund you that. I mean, we have to save some of that money for tape and boxes that we have to purchase because we're not always able to fit everything into post office boxes. Okay. All right. I know that's really long winded, but I wanted to go over it. That's why we are, um, we've worked so hard on the Shopify website It's going to save us money as far as, as far as percentages, instead of paying, for example, some things on Etsy, we pay 30%. So if, you, if, you, if it costs $10, we're paying 30% to Etsy, depending on how you got there. If you saw an ad and you clicked on an ad in Pinterest or an ad that they put out there for the next 
two months, they charge extra. Yeah, they do. And they charge on shipping too. They charge a percent on shipping. So everything, it's, it's going to be better for that because we don't make a lot on the wood cutouts. You know how that is with the price of wood. Okay, let me, let's get going. <laughs> Darlene is being so long-winded, but I wanted to explain because I know some of you weren't on yesterday and you're wondering, why is she having me try this out? Why is she going to Shopify? And I may just post something on my page too to explain that. We're going to save a lot of money on fees. Um, you're going to save on shipping. You don't have to pay it up front and then get refunded. It's just going to be better. <laughs> so I have this really fun project. I did do part of it because I knew that I was going to be running out of time. Let me, let me just um, get to this. It just was going to take a lot of time. Okay, let me share this to my VIP group. Well, we will be able to link the videos and that's a good thing. Um, I love that because then when you purchase and it's like six months down the road and you're finally painting it, you can go back to your purchases, click on the per on that item, and then click on the video and so you can watch it again. So that should be really helpful, right? <laughs> Just a lot of different things. Okay, if you're not a designer, I would love so much if you would sprinkle the video and you know what that means. Another thing I've been doing, um, has anybody noticed... I have been uploading, as soon as I'm done here, I, okay, I upload this designer. to my YouTube um, channel. So I do have a YouTube channel, and that's a backup. Because what happens if Facebook says, Darlene, um, you violated this little rule that we have, which, you know, they could make up anything. Um, and then they close my account. I want to still have my videos, so I'm going to have them on YouTube, and I feel like that's probably where I should start linking things so it sends you to YouTube, because not everybody has, not everyone has a Facebook group. <laughs> okay, let's get going, guys. I could talk all day. Sorry. Um, hi, Tina. How are you? Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, and Tina, you have two huge, huge boxes coming. Um, you're going to die because it weighed like almost 40 pounds between the two. <laughs> So you should have them probably by Wednesday is what I think. Um, yeah, they they were mailed out and they are heavy. So beware. Two big, big boxes. Um, like, like the big um, ones from Chocotour. So I'm happy to say that they are on the way. <laughs> hi, Karen West. Hi, Tony. Hi, Deb. Hi, hi, Karen Romanko, sore back and feet, but happy. Oh, good, good, good. So you've been walking and you've been playing your, your um, what is it called? <laughs> it, shuffleboard, there we go. Hi, Shelly, how are you? Hi, Tammy. Oh, Tina, you went to four cemeteries today and you have two more to go tomorrow. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. <laughs> hi, Doris, I saw your message. If you want to go and look at Shopify and just kind of look around, see if you spot anything. I'm just looking for people to click on things, add things to a cart. You can empty out the cart and just tell me how, how it what worked and how it felt and what you feel like needs to happen. It, it Here's the great thing. It is so customizable. Is that a word? It can be customized so, so much. I can change it. I can add things. I can delete things. It actually really is, I don't know. It's a, it, To me, it is a great thing. So I'm loving it already. <laughs> I am loving it already. So um, hi, Laura. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Vicky. You're watching with the sound off. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for sprinkling, Laura. I appreciate it. Hi, Lori. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Marcia. Oops, it just scrolled up really fast. Just missed the beginning. Okay, no problem at all. Um, I was talking about the new Shopify website. So I've created a Shopify website that will eventually take the place of you shopping on Etsy for the wood pieces. One, I'll be able to save a huge percentage. We're paying way too much to Etsy. Two, the shipping will be way more close and it won't it won't be more and then we have to refund you. And we can add the links to the videos. So there's there's lots of things, lots of reasons. So that's all that you really missed. Not a lot. <laughs> Hi, Nana. Oh, yeah, Tina, that, that is nice that she was able to go do that. Hi, Dawn. How are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, Tina's, oh, oh, I know. You, re, you responded about the boxes. Yes, finally. Oh. <laughs> It, sometimes it's a struggle guys but we're we are like I have one order sitting in there um that 
there was a, a couple of orders that came in yesterday that did not get processed today. They'll get processed. They'll get sent out on Tuesday. But I have one order that just needs to be finished up. And they were like 100%. <laughs> I'm so excited until you guys purchase <laughs> craft show today. Oh, Karen, that's right. Craft show. Yes. Yay. I'm so happy for you. Hi, Talisa. How are you? Hi, John. Happy Saturday, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's get started on this. Let me show you what I have here. It's really cute. You're gonna love it. Let me put you down to it and then I'm gonna have to turn it around. So this is a changeable. Now, I realize that Memorial Day is coming like soon. So I'm gonna have it with the option to purchase. You can purchase um, pieces. So if you don't want, and I repainted these because I knew it was going to take a lot of time to paint this. So this is one of the, um, oh gosh, I already, I already forgot what it is. <laughs> Hang on, because I had to search my brain. Bunting. This is a bunting. Okay. Wouldn't this be cute to have a whole bunch of them? I'm going to make this in smaller sizes and maybe have a bunch of them. So right here underneath here is a slot. Okay. So, oh, I didn't try it out. I, I'm guessing their pattern is accurate. Oh yeah, so this is gonna fit right in here. So I already painted these because the fact that this is gonna take a long time to paint. So I painted these already. So you can slide it in and out. It's gonna hang with jute, okay? Or you can get ribbon if you want ribbon. These are all gonna slide in and out of here. And there's a Memorial Day one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I am not so, so 4th of July, Memorial Day, and then America. Okay, this is not my favorite, um, but, but some people really love it. So I'm going to make it. I'm trying to think of another word to put here. I'm thinking freedom, but but I don't know. Um, some of you guys, you put Americana up year-round. What word would you want there, year-round, to put up there besides America? Um, I don't know why. That just doesn't do anything for me. Some people love it, but it doesn't do a lot for me. <laughs> but we're going to paint this. So maybe, you guys, if you had something that you would like to be in here, just kind of pop it in the comments and give me some suggestions because Tara and I were discussing it. Tara doesn't like America either. Um, yes, I did post the link to Shopify. I wonder if I can post it here. Let me see. Maybe I can. Let me go to, let me go to the Shopify and let me see if I can post it here. I think I can, um, store, um, let's see, maybe, <laughs> home, um, let's see, online store, okay, I think I have the link right here, is that the link? Um, yes, okay, I'll post the link right here in the comments. <laughs> I know it's kind of a struggle. So I did post it. I did post it. Okay, here's the link. Um, I hope, hope it works. Um, I did post it on my page, so it is there. Anyways, I'm hoping that it works out. <laughs> liberty, freedom. Yeah, um, liberty, freedom. See, I love freedom. So I think that I need to create one that says freedom. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do when I post this, I'm going to post it singly because Memorial Day is almost here and then 4th of July is coming up and a lot of people decorate, um, a lot of people that have military in their family, they have a wall that is just all patriotic stuff. I know that Jill has that. Um, so anyways, we're gonna, we'll figure it out. United, united we stand. That would be a lot. A united, united would be okay. Uni um, liberty is perfect. Liberty. Yeah, that would be great. I'm just old glory. Old glory is a good win. Uh oh, who's down there scratching? What are we scratching at? Hi. <laughs> Puppies are down there in the corner. <laughs> as long as they don't start, don't start humping each other. <laughs> okay, I think I'll put myself um, up in the corner <laughs> just in case. Oh my goodness, you know how that is. Freedom's a good one. Liberty's a good one. Okay, so I'll give I'll give options. We can easily make this into. We know how to do all this stuff. Um, we can easily make it into freedom, or liberty, so that you guys can have those options. But we're gonna paint this. Ooh, it's hot in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see here. How am I gonna do this? I have to go right here. And then I have to go there and then there, there I am in the corner. I know it's so cute. I think it'll be really cute. 
I, I would love to have a bunch of them. Hi, Laura, how are you? Spent the day outside, went to the greenhouse to get flowers and plants, and then got the gardens planted. It's plenty warm here today. It is feeling warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> right after I made the comment, as long as my dogs start, don't start humping each other, you know, because girl dogs do that too. They, they show dominance. <laughs> oh my heavens. Guys, I just sometimes, I just don't know about myself. Let me move this for a second and hopefully don't dump it on the floor with all the stars. Let's bring in our big board. <laughs> hi, Darlene. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Carol. Hi, Barb. I'm so excited about this one. So this, I know, I, I know that it is, uh, Memorial, Memorial Day is almost here. So as far as that, you may not want to get Memorial Day right now. We'll have the little pieces available. Here's another thing that we're doing, okay? So you know that most of the time when you order, it is shipped out the same day. What we need to start doing is we need to cut when the order is placed, okay? So right now... I have bins of things that have been cut that um, aren't selling right now because maybe we cut too many. Maybe we under or overestimated how many of a certain item somebody might want. And what we need to do is kind of tweak that in. So we are going to start cutting everything after it is ordered. Okay, does that make sense? Um, I don't like to waste wood. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you guys love the 50% off that we throw at you guys a, lo a lot of the times, but really for me, that's a waste of wood. Wood is expensive. Wood is hard to come by. So we have to start cutting out one sample, painting it, and then as people order, we will be cutting. Okay. So it might take two days to get an order out instead of one. <laughs> Hi, Denise. How are you? Yeah. Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great too. Um, Perfect. Okay, let me go ahead. We're going to paint white. So we have, these are my colors. I am using darker colors. Okay, I'm using my, my darker. This is Heritage Brick. All I did was I painted this. It's layered. Okay, so it's two layers. So I went ahead and I did these. This one is our white and our Royal Navy. And then this one, I just ombre these. So just like you would do when you're chalking, I painted everything white and then I painted um, blue and I painted red and then I just kind of operated it together. Okay, so I just wanted it to be blended. All right, so that's what I did with that. So, I, so we have Royal Navy, we have Heritage, Heritage Brick and white. What we're gonna do on these is we are gonna paint these all white and then we're gonna go back and do the stripes. It's gonna be easier th to do that than to say, oh, this stripe is this color and this stripe is that color. And then all our stars are white and then this is blue, okay? So we're going to start, we're just going to start with our white and I'm just going to pour some on here. <laughs> That's going to do us for quite a bit. Okay. So we're just going to start painting and I'll do some stars as I go along. This paint will last us for a lot of this. Okay. So I, it's easier than putting it in a little dish and the white is going to take two coats. I wish it didn't, <laughs> but white is usually really transparent. It, it usually does take two coats. So, oh guys, I've been so busy today getting laundry done because I got to pack tomorrow <laughs> and working on the website. Gosh, um, puppies. <laughs> Don't forget the puppies. They're so crazy. They are, they're hilarious. I had to go get them. They were they were in um, sleeping with hubby last night, and I was still working. And I heard them scrapping in there. So evidently, somebody found a, a bone in there, and Stubby wanted the bone. <laughs> and little one Marley, Marley just takes after him because Marley has little dog syndrome. Marley thinks that she is a giant, um, whatever, like a a bulldog, uh, maybe a bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> I bet she would give, she would have given Molly a run for her money for sure. But Marley, Marley acts like she's this big, huge dog and she just takes after him. I go running in there cause I'm just thinking, Oh no, John's going to get bit again. <laughs> so I had to take them out. They couldn't sleep with him. Yep. Naughty puppies. Naughty, naughty puppies. And they do fine out there. They do fine with me. I go to bed late, late, and they just hang out with me. <laughs> so 
So we're just going to paint this all white first. Then we're going to go back and we'll do our stripes. And it will be easier that way. I promise. I, I feel like putting that base coat on there is the best thing to do. On the blue one, on this stripe right here, on this part, we're just going to paint it dark blue. So did you get the dress? I Okay, so I got the dress. I did get a dress um, yesterday and it was too big. <laughs> it was too big. But I was able to order a smaller size. Now, the dress that I picked out, I was really excited. I was really excited. It came in, and it's super cute, and I love the color. The color's great. However, it's it's really big, and my friend warned me. <laughs> so, one of my crafter friends, we have a little chat group with all our crafters that I've been doing crafts with for 30 plus years, and I showed her the dress. She goes, I have the same same dress, just different color, and it, and it runs two sizes big, and I'm like, great. <laughs> I ordered it one size big because I was like, I don't want it to be clingy. Well, guess what? When it came in, I felt like I was um, in a circus tent, honestly, and I thought, well, I'll just make it work, and then I'm like, let me see how long it is to take the, to get the next one in if I need a like a smaller size, so I did order a smaller size. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be here today. I'm crossing my fingers. Otherwise, I'm going to get out my sewing machine and I'm going to have to start so start altering the other one. <laughs> but um, it's really cute. I'll show you guys once I get it all figured out. I will, you know, or maybe when I'm wearing it, I'll have someone take a picture. But yeah, it turned. Out, it was really cute. It's um black and it has white flowers on it, kind of like white cream colored flowers. I didn't want solid black. Um, I thought about doing bright colors because my mom loved Hawaii, but I decided to be good <laughs> and do and do um, black. So yeah, it looks really good, but it, it honestly, it is huge. It's like a circus tent. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding at all. <laughs> I'm using red. Yes, I will use red. I'm using white right now, and then I will use red. So I'm doing all white first. And then I will do stripes. So so these are scored. Um, I will be doing the stripes after. I'm base coating it with white first. And then this part I'm doing with blue. So this part will be blue and my stars will be stars will be white. So hi Cheryl, how are you? I hope everybody's having a good day. <laughs> I know it's kind of interesting with this, but I always find that when you have to do other colors on something sometimes it is easier to just base coat it one solid color and white's a good color to go over I can easily go over it with the blue and the red and it will look fine and even if I have to put two lighter coats um, it will be fine okay so my my blue okay so red is kind of transparent sometimes and my blue kind of is too so this is navy blue and the red is heritage brick Okay, so let me dry this, and then we'll then we'll put a second coat. I think we do have to put a second coat of white, and we'll just do that really quickly. That is why I I base coated all the words. <laughs> That's why I, I I did all the words. That's why I did all these first because there's a lot of painting on this. <laughs> let me stand up. So lots of drawing. And we will do our little stripes. And it's going to be really cute. I can't wait. We probably will put a second coat of blue because it's a little transparent. It's going to get really hot in here with this heat gun. <laughs> so what have you guys been doing today? Anything fun? Tell me what, tell me what you've been doing. Anyone? <laughs> Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Janice. Hi, Carrie. I can see people watching. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Mary Lou. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Melissa. I can see from my phone. This is really cute. I love this one. So I did do all the signs that go in it. I did them ahead of time because we're going to run out of time. So just in case you just hopped on. So we ha we're going to have 4th of July, Memorial Day, and we're going to have America. And then we're going to do, I'm going to do um, Freedom, and I'm going to do 
uh, what was the other one? <laughs> freedom and uh, liberty. Okay, so I'll do freedom and liberty. You'll be able to choose, okay? So you will be able to choose what you want. If you want them all, you can have them all. If you just want one, you can have one. Um, this will be on the Shopify website. I'm so excited. Ah, you guys, it took me forever because, you know, we're so busy. And I work full time. So working full time is really hard. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, I still have four more years of working full time. And I'm glad. I'm grateful. I can do some stuff at home. I am actually can take off. You know, I leave. I leave on Monday morning early. We get at the airport at like 4.30 to fly out to my mom's memorial service. And my company that I work for, they said, take off as much time as you need. I mean, they're just like family. Okay, let's just quickly get this done. We're going to put the second coat on really quick. You know I can paint quick. <laughs> Super duper quick, guys. Yeah, we used to paint, when we did wholesale ornaments, we did 100 ornaments um, every night. I would sit down after work and I would paint 100 ornaments for the stores. And I would paint so, so quick. And then my, my daughter-in-law, um, she could sit and do the details. It takes a couple hours to do details, but I could base coat 100 ornaments in no time. Yeah, we have these little racks, kind of like baker racks, and we would just put each tray in there as we painted it. Okay, so there's my second coat. Okay, now let's do our second coat down here. We have a lot on my brush still, so I think I can get a little bit off the brush, and then let's put a little bit. I just like to pour it right onto my project. I don't always use a little tray unless I'm doing details, because you know what? Why? <laughs> why should I? Why should I? have to wash more right okay so we're almost there I can see my score lines there's score lines so you'll be able to see where you have to paint your stripes there's going to be stripes on here I know it kind of looks interesting I might have to go turn my air conditioner down <laughs> it's a hot day outside today at least at my house it is hot so it is definitely summer here guys how's your temperatures are you is it hot for you I know we're, I don't know what we're at. It's got to be in the 80s. <laughs> it's got to be in the 80s. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a second coat of blue. My paintbrush probably has enough on it. Yeah, it does. So I'm just going to quickly do this and then we will dry. Okay. So there we go. All right. Messages. <laughs> More messages. Okay, there we go. Out with Tiff. Um, let's see. Yesterday, groceries and Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. Today, craft show. Tomorrow, nothing. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Georgia is 78. It's 71 where Tina is. I'm um, going to be in upper 80s in Indiana. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> that's hot for me. This is pouring resin, 3D printing, cleaning and organizing. The boys are coming Wednesday. Oh, that's fun. Hunter wants to spend time with you before he ships out. Oh, of course. Carol says, worked hard cleaning and doing laundry. Can't wait um, for you to come. Oh, you're so sweet. So you can come in and sit down. Um, Darlene says, getting ready for the pool to be open on Monday. Nice. Nice. That is awesome. Um, I, I used to love that. We had a pool once upon a time. Once upon a time, we had a pool in, in our other house. You know, we've lived in three houses on this street. I tell you guys that story, and I know it seems funny, but we moved onto this street in 1990, and I was pregnant. <laughs> I was pregnant with my, my um, youngest son. So 1990, we moved onto this street, and then in 95, we moved across the street from that, in 2004, we moved to, it's 2004-2003, we moved to New Mexico for a couple of years, and then we moved back on the same street. We love this neighborhood. We have great neighbors, you know, they, they really are. Okay, so, I know this looks like two, two sunsets, but when it's all put together, it's going to be amazing. Okay, I think it's not dry. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's still damp, it is not dry yet. So you do not want to be touching it. You don't want to be 
painting it until it's completely dry. Let me stand up. <laughs> so funny, guys. 70 in Tennessee. Oh, Deb says they had a little bit of rain this morning. Now it's sunny in 56. That's not bad. I would love 56. I love it cold. I grew up in the cold, but I don't like it freezing cold. <laughs> freezing cold is not fun. Okay, so that is dry. I'm going to move this whole board and I'm going to take back these pieces one at a time and we're going to paint them and you'll see this thing come to life. We actually could probably put the stars on here, but we'll just wait. We'll just glue it all together. Stars are going to go on this stripe. I'm going to move this. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, now I need this because we're going to paint stripes and I need my cheat sheet. I have my little cheat sheet right to the side. Let me get some small brushes, smaller brushes. Okay, oh, not that one, <laughs> not that one guys. Oh my goodness. So we can actually use these. Um, oh, that's kind of big. Let me just, let me see. That's a little big. Um, I forgot to get out these brushes, sorry guys. You know what? There has to be another one like this. <laughs> So that's a really good size, but I don't think there is actually. Um, it's okay. Sorry, it's so loud. That is my whole box of things that I'm going through. Okay, this will work. This one will work. Okay, so we're gonna do. Here's what we'll, we're gonna do. So um, we need to do. We need to do red. Okay, this is red. Okay, and then white stays. Okay, then these are blue, and then the, all this down here is red. Okay, so. We're gonna use the bigger brush for red. Hi, Billy, how are you? Oh, Heidi, it's 65 where Heidi is. Oh my goodness. 70 in Tennessee. That's so funny. 84 where Laura is gonna be 90 tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Laura, remind me where you're at. I always, I always remember when I'm doing your orders. <laughs> but remind me where you're at. Okay, so red, red is Heritage Brick. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to look at my cheat sheet. You know, I actually don't have to paint this. I have to paint this part right here. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Red, white, blue, white, red, Darlene. Okay, so here we go. There's a, there's a lot more red there. This part you don't have to paint, but I probably will. So I'm left-handed. I'm going to go, I'm just going to go like this. And if you want to tape things off, you can. Remember, I am going to have to do two coats, okay? So two coats on this one. All right, so guys, I am going to attempt to do the impossible. Guess what that is? Darlene is going to not check her luggage. <laughs> We're doing carry-on only. Holy cow. Can, do you think I can do it? Do you think I can fit everything that I need into carry-on? You've seen what I take. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint this, even though I don't have to. I'm going to go ahead just because. So I have to fit everything into carry-on because we don't want to have to wait for our luggage. And all my kids are able to do that. Do you think I can? We have my mom's memorial magnets that I made, so I have that too. I'm thinking I put those in a backpack for my one of my sons to carry on um, for their their carry-on. <laughs> my daughter probably will be in the same situation. You can take on a personal item and you can take a, a carry-on bag. My carry-on bag, okay, so we're going for, we leave Monday morning, the funeral is on Tuesday, and then we can fly back on Wednesday. I don't need a lot of stuff. There's a Walmart within five minutes of our hotel, so I can I can buy deodorant. <laughs> I can buy toothpaste, right? So I really, and I can take the little things of shampoo. I really don't think that I need to, um, I really don't think that I need to um, check a bag. I'm going to try. I'm going to try so hard to not check a bag. <laughs> Roll your clothes up. Yes. <laughs> my sister Dora, she says, I don't believe it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know. Okay. So in order not to get my hand in the way, I'm going to do the blue next because I need to do blue right here. <laughs> my sister knows me. Anybody that has traveled with me knows it's so hard for me to pack light. 
oh my goodness i just i just have a hard time i take everything and the kitchen sink i will not be going live <laughs> from there so i mean as far as a video i will go live at some point i mean i may show you the cows again <laughs> i am not planning to take my um my archon stand that's one of the biggest things guys i i'll take my archon stand with me and that has to go in to a suitcase and my and my ring light <laughs> and i usually take projects we're not going to be gone that long so i am <laughs> I'm going to try. Any bets on it? Anybody want to bet that I can't do it? <laughs> I am praying and crossing my fingers that everything will fit. My dress, my dress rolls up. Okay, when I got my dress, um, because my dress is from Amazon and it's super duper cute, I promise. It was rolled up. <laughs> and I got my shoes from there too and they're flats and they're super cute also. But they didn't fit either, Okay. <laughs> So my my shoes were too small. My dress was too big. And Amazon is supposed to de deliver a smaller dress today and bigger shoes. So cross your fingers and your toes that they are able to do that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm try I'm going to try really really hard to um just have a carry on. Yeah, it's it's really important to me to be able to do that. <laughs> I need to step up to the goal. Oh my goodness. And honestly, you know, the Walmart is right there. The Walmart. Who says that? The Walmart. Does does everybody say Walmart is there? Or do they say the Walmart is there? Because I just, I can't stop myself. The Walmart is there. <laughs> and there's a grocery store. So, oh my goodness. And Doris, I need to talk to you about this. But um, Wesley's dad has offered to host a barbecue on, t on Monday night. Um, he will be out of town on Tuesday. I won't be able to go to the funeral. And so he has offered to host a barbecue. That's, it's my ex-husband. So, and we get along. So he has offered to do a barbecue if you and Zach are interested. So isn't that nice of him? He actually gets along with all my kids. And he lives really close to there. He's, he's within five minutes of there too. So he has offered to do a barbecue. I'll get you all the details. And, um, he, he, he actually, he has remarried twice, no, three times, <laughs> three times since we were married. It's, it's, and he's had, he's had challenges. So, okay. Now we're, go that blue, we're going to have to do a second coat because look at it, it's transparent. Um, that blue is Royal Navy. And then, um, we're going to do heritage break on the end. We will dry this. We'll put a second coat. Um, you say the Walmart too. Yeah. I'll call you later about it. <laughs> I know who, who, I don't know why we say the Walmart. We're going to go to the Walmart, <laughs> the Walmart. I, you know what? I actually have to stay out unless it is really important, like a holiday because things jump into my cart. <laughs> Honestly, they just jump into my cart and I just cannot help myself. I can't get out of there for less than a hundred dollars every stinking time. I just... I just don't get it <laughs> unless I'm with my sister <laughs> and then I might hurry through it and then I still might buy stuff because we were we went to the grocery store there to get um, groceries and I look over and go oh there's puzzles I'm like I'm like such a squirrel all the time all the time okay this brush is great for this I wish I had a second one it is an angle brush and it is large. It's probably a one inch angle brush. I like this brand. This brand is Royal and Langs, Lang, Lang something. Lang Nickel, Royal and Anglo. Oh, it says three quarters inch. But this is a great, this is a great size for this. It's a lot easier than using a sponge brush and trying to control the sponge brush. So I'll do, I'll do like a long there and then I'll just pull it up and then kind of even it out. I am getting some on my table, but you know what, guys? It'll wipe off. So this is going to be fun for for Memorial Day. So I have a second one of these to do. I'm going to dry this, and we'll put the second coat on it. It's always $300 for you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my Walmart does not have, like, a grocery store, or it would be. It has a food section. <laughs> put the purse and Memorial Night in the backpack. Then all of your food... And clothes and the carry on. I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna try. I am going to try. <laughs> I know. I 
I, and I'm not going to bring a big purse. I honestly, when I, when I went, where did I go? Um, somewhere. I always have a small, small purse. And I have a really cute little purse that I love that I think I'm just going to take a small purse. I don't need a big one, right? <laughs> so the reason I always carry a big one is because I have all my medications in, but I can put my medications um, into my into my check bag or not check into my roll on bag, my carry on bag. So okay, second coat. Okay, that dried really fast. Second coat, and then we'll go to the next one. All right, so this one should be easier because usually the second coat is a lot easier because you can just follow the line. And you're not having to be as careful, hopefully. Um, guys, do you want me to ink the edges? Do you think I need to ink the edges on this? I didn't ink the edges on the signs that go in it. So I didn't ink the edges on here. But I can go back and do that. Do you think I should or do you think I should leave it? And just leave it nice and crisp. It's totally, totally up to you guys. I'm going to do what you guys tell me to do. Okay, this part's not going to show. I'm not going to waste paint on that. I'm not going to put a second coat on that. If you want me to ink it, I will totally ink it. If you want me to just leave it, I will. Okay, let's see here. I'm getting some on my fingers. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Oh my goodness. I cannot craft without making a mess, you guys. Let me get a paper towel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, leave it. Okay, I'm kind of thinking no ink too. Uh, that's what I'm thinking too. I think nice and crisp like this is going to be perfect. So, but you can imagine it inked. And I thought, gosh, you know, you could ink it. You could speckle it. No, I want this one to be nice and crisp, I think. I think it's going to look good like that. So I will add this to both the Etsy store and to Shopify. I have to get people trained to, um, to go to Shopify. But there's going to be people that don't watch my videos that shop on Etsy. So for the next two months, I'm going to keep it in both areas. We're just going to be making sure we check everything. And eventually, everything will be over onto Shopify um, as far as the wood cutouts. We'll leave, we're going to leave the wedding business over onto um, Etsy because we're so established there. We've been doing that for a very long time since they first, since Etsy first opened basically. <laughs> <laughs> so we will we will leave the wedding business there and we will separate out the wood cutouts because honestly guys um we're just paying too much in fees and we we never raise prices on you guys really maybe maybe like a dollar here and there um when wood went up when wood went from twelve dollars a sheet to fifty eight we didn't raise prices we kept it the same so really this will just help us get some of that back. We thought prices would be going down. They're not. They're not. Okay, so blue was Royal Navy. And then red is my Heritage Brick. And see how it's easier for me to do it upside down? I'm left-handed. If it's easier for you to do it the other way, go for it. Do it the other way. Okay? It's totally, totally up to you how you do it. I just find that it's easier for me to, to do it from this side. Um, being left-handed, your um is probably is that's why. Um, being right-handed, yeah, you'll probably turn it around the other direction. So, um, Walmart yesterday was 177 for groceries and sundries, then grocery store for 74, and now enough for 46 weeks. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, no ink. Okay, yes, <laughs> you're not crafting there if there is no mess. I I agree, Billy. Billy, exactly, exactly. Um, I am not crafting if there's no mess. I, I'm always messy. <laughs> Sometimes I actually spill paint on the floor and cry. No, <laughs> I have, I have a big paint spot on my carpet in the back room. Yeah. You know, I would, and I have a spot where the heat gun. So I, I would dry things with the heat gun and I would set it down on the floor until I was ready for the next part. Guess what? That heat gun is hot and it melts fabric. It melts, um, carpet. It melts fabric too. <laughs> <laughs> but it melted the carpet. I was like, what is that? And I look at it, I'm going, oh my gosh, that was me. Darlene did that. I, to I totally did it. So, yeah. I think my biggest, my biggest paint um, accident was in a house that I was getting ready to sell. <laughs> yeah, uh, way back, way back in the 80s. Okay, let's dry this one before I move it to the side. Then we're going to bring the next one. 
So way back in the 80s, I lived in Idaho. And my first husband and I had a house. And then he joined the military and we moved out of state, out of country, eventually. And so when we got divorced, we had to sell the house to divide profits. Well, there was no profit. We actually had a loss because we had it for such a short time. But I had to go to paint. We have an iron spot on your carpet. That's funny. Oh my gosh. You've melted your table with a heat gun. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, and Carol, Karen said she was demoing and had chalk all over your hands. Exactly. When you're done with your live, um, can you check your Shopify or Yes, I can. I can actually check it right now if you want. <laughs> I can check it on my phone right this moment, which is great. So, um, yeah, just pardon me for one moment. Un momento. I can see that. Um, I don't have one there for you yet. Okay. Um, it might be pending. So I will look and see. I'll look and see. Okay. Um, there's that one. Let's bring in the next one. But yeah, I can check it like that. It's, it's really fabulous to be able to do that. Okay. So red and then blue and then red. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to move this completely or I will knock it off onto one of the dogs. Okay. So my, my biggest thing, my biggest accident with the paint I was painting in the house that we are getting ready to sell okay and my air just turned on thank you thank you air conditioning gods <laughs> so I was painting I had five gallon buckets of paint Darlene you were like the clumsiest I turned around and I fell over the paint and I knocked it over onto the carpet five gallons of light like a light ivory color of paint all over orange carpet. <laughs> Remember back then when the carpet was orange? Yeah, all over orange carpet. So the only thing I could think to do was water, water, water immediately. Don't let it dry. Darlene, you don't have money to replace carpet. This house is going on the market next week. So I grabbed, I grabbed a container and I put water, water, water all over and I kept sopping it up with, I had paper towels, I had towels. And then I go wring it out and I bring it back and I kept doing that to the carpet until it was clear <laughs> and I didn't have any more paint, but that was, that was so terrible. It was awful. I had to paint everything in that house. Um, the people that we rented to were very, very, very heavy smokers. And so when they took their stuff off the walls, the shape of pictures um, was like the white part and then the rest of it was dark. So I, I didn't have a choice. I had to paint. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. All right. Well, my mama's, my mama's um, iron fell over once um, onto the floor. Okay. So I was up visiting Idaho. I have a story about that. So my mom had, had, has a laundry room and she had her ironing board um, set up and I was removing clothes from the washer to putting it into the dryer. Of course, I bump the ironing board. The iron falls on the floor. And it falls on its back and I'm like, oh, that's nice. It didn't fall down. And I, I knew it wasn't on because nobody had been using it. I grabbed the face of the iron, knowing that nobody had been using it. Guess what? It was the type of iron that turns on when you tip it down or move it, it turns on. So in that short few seconds, it has started to heat up and I fried my hand. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got really deep burns and my mom my mom grabs me. She's like come here and she grabs me by the hand and she she pulls me into the into the kitchen and she takes melaleuca oil and she poured it on my hand. So she poured like a whole almost a whole jar of melaleuca tea tree oil onto my hand. My hand was burning. My hand was burning. And that tea tree oil took all of that burn out immediately. I didn't blister. I swear I was going to be going to get some um, skin grafts because it was, it hurt so bad. <laughs> it hurt so freaking bad. I wanted to cry. And then as soon as she poured that on there, she knew, she knew. So it, it's, it's great for burns. So if you don't know that, have, have some available. I have like a little tiny jar. I don't sell it. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I have a little tiny jar of the Mel Melaleuca tea tree oil and it works for so many things. But, um, yeah, I didn't end up having this serious burn and I thought I was going to, I thought, Oh great. Now you get to have skin grafts. 
Because <laughs> people do that. People people have things like that happen and it gets burnt so deeply that they have to have a skin graft from their belly or their thigh, right? Okay, so we're almost done. All my storytelling. <laughs> I have so many silly stories, guys. If you spend a lot of time with me, you will hear them all. <laughs> Maybe over and over and over. <laughs> Chalk on your armchair and your rug. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I remember... Oh, your mom lives by Nola Luca. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, Cheryl. Sandy. Oh, hi, Sandy. How are you? Happy Saturday. We were painting a... I always forget the name of it. A bunting. <laughs> this is a bunting that's changeable. Okay. So we're painting a changeable bunting. And we're just doing the stripes. And then we're going to put it together. We're going to put the stars on it. And glue it together. Oh, guys. Let, let me do this. Let me turn on... Let me plug in my glue gun. If I can find it. And I'll use that. So when I glue this together, I'll use the hot glue gun to kind of help hold it so that we don't have to wait. <laughs> so we can see it immediately. Um, I th isn't there a Mel Luca place in Idaho Falls? I think there is. I, th I think uh, Mel Luca is out of there too. Okay, so this is red. I'm glad I didn't grab the wrong color. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go red, white, red, white, blue, red, white. Um, I was thinking that, but... Um, don't you love going by people's houses and they have these fabric buntings hanging? I think they're just so adorable. I don't know if I have to paint this or not. Oh, probably not. I actually think I was supposed to leave that, but you know what? We painted it red now. <laughs> I think that part was supposed to be left, but you know what? It's going to be red and yeah, it's okay. Cause that, that top part's going to show. It's okay. We're good with that. We're not going to cry. No crying and chopping, in, in chalking or crafting, right? No crying. Don't sweat the small stuff, guys. It's all small stuff. It is all small stuff, right? Yeah. Um, your mom. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was reading the same comments. Hi, Holly. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Oh, I forgot to go back to my page. There we go. If you're not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle. And I'm going to be sending out some fun sprinkle gifts. We're, get, we're getting into this stuff where we're going to be sending out some fun patriotic stuff. Yeah. Um, that is just, it's, it's getting to be that time. And I know some of you got stuff last week. It's, it's always fun to do that. I love stuffing extras into your orders or just mailing you something out of the blue. I think that that is just, it's fun to get happy mail, right? It is so fun. Anyways. Oh, I got flowers yesterday. So I was just sitting there and I think it was yesterday. Was it the day before? Uh, <laughs> I think it was yesterday. So my, my daughter-in-law says, you have flowers out here. I'm like, oh, who did I get flowers from? It was from my church people. You guys, I really, I don't go to church, but they come and see me every, they come and see me every month. So I, I <laughs> they're really sweet. So she, um, they had their phone number on a card and said, so sorry about your mom and, um, you know, sweet little, sweet little card. So I sent them a text that thank you. Yeah, they're really, they're really good people. I'm going to say that is the thing about the Mormon church is that they don't leave you alone. If you want them to, they will. <laughs> you could tell them to go away. But I really, I really love my church people, even though I don't go to church right now. Okay, let me dry this and we will put a second coat. The second coat always goes quicker. Oh, yes, yeah, she drove by Nola Canada Falls. It's beautiful. It looks like a castle. You know what? Um, <laughs> it's so funny because it does, it looks crazy. When my sister and I drove by it recently, and we actually had some other comments to say, it, it's it's just different. It's just really different, right? It's off of the freeway. It's off of the 15 on the way up to Idaho Falls, right? On the side. Is that where it's at? I'm trying to, I'm racking my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. My mom and dad, they they were part of Melaleuca. They were part of Amway. They really didn't do well with either, but they loved the product. Hi, Maria. How are you? Okay, let me um, let me get a paper towel. There's a little bit down in between that I just want to get out. And then I'm going to put a second coat. We're doing a bunting that is interchangeable. I, I love stuff like this. I absolutely love it. 
And I love I, I love interchangeables for one because then you can have it for multiple things. So I do have it with um, more, Happy Memorial Day. However, I do realize that um, it's a little late for that, but it's not too late for me to have it. My my husband was in the Navy, and so we we are always celebrate our the days the days like that. We celebrate Memorial Day. Um, we fly a flag. 365 days a year, unless it's really bad weather, you know. <laughs> so, anyways, okay, I'm going to put a second coat. Second coat always goes faster because I don't have to be quite as careful. I kind of have an area that I can look at and I can put it on faster. Then we'll dry it. And then we're going to glue it together. There's little stars that go on here. And then it's going to glue together. And then I have the stains that are going to go with it. We have, we have, have, and we have Memorial Day, and then we have um, Fourth of July, and we have America, which is not my favorite. Uh, <laughs> but you can order it. Sorry, sorry, guys. I, I I shouldn't even say that. Maybe some of you really like that. Um, but I would be do freedom, and I will do liberty, and I'll make them available. I just have to design it. It's easy for for me and Tara. We can design anything. That's that's what we do. <laughs> We do custom stuff all day long. Custom orders for this, custom for that. And I think we might be getting back to doing more of our own stuff this year. I, th I think that Tara misses it. I She's been super busy with everything else, but I think she kind of misses doing the design work. Um, this year, we've kind of, this past year, we've kind of bought a lot of files, but I think it is time to get back to being our own people and having our own designs instead of everybody else having the same stuff, right? So we're going to be working on that. We'll still have some of the other stuff, don't get me wrong, but I really like to be different. I really like to do something and not have 12 other people doing the same thing. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to be your own designer and be able to make your own thing and say, I created this, right? <laughs> so... Um, yeah, this, this one is a purchase file. I didn't come up with this idea, but I can make any saying to go on it. I, I even not thought about doing names, um, for people like their, their last name, but then it's a lot of work. <laughs> there would, there would be an upcharge for that for sure. Cause to do an individual name would be a lot. It'd be a lot. All right. Almost there. Do my blue. Then we'll do our red. We'll, we'll dry it. We'll glue together. I can't wait to see this. I'm going to put this on my front door. Okay, so I do have one on my front door right now. I'm going to switch it out. Do you know that I switch out? Some people say, how often do you change your door hangers? Really? Because they'll say, do people really need that many door hangers? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Sometimes I change my door hanger every single week when I do a, another cute one. I'm like, oh, I really love this one. I'm going to, I'm going to do another one. <laughs> yes. Okay, so door hangers, you know, it it doesn't have to be on a door. It could be on a wall. All right, let's do this. This is our last. And I need to go all the way to the top on this one because this part's going to show. I accidentally did it red, but we're just going to go with it. We're going to go with it. On, on the pattern, it is just left the wood color. And um, Darlene wasn't thinking. <laughs> So we're just, we've already put red. We're just going to do red. If I don't like it, I can go back over it and do brown. Honestly, I don't have to, you know, sometimes things will hang on my wall and I'll go, oh, I don't really like that. Guys, if something's bugging you, take it off the wall and fix it. Just paint over it. Flip it over. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to sit there and not like something, right? I mean, there's many times when I go, that needs something else. That needs a bow. That needs a heart. That needs something else. Um, and then I'll just fix it. So um, that's that's the way we are as artists. We have that ability to do that, to make changes, to change our mind. <laughs> I still need to change my lake one that has the oars because I'm not happy with that one. However, I have it packed up to go to a craft show. <laughs> so if it sells the way it is, then it sells. If it doesn't sell the way it is, then I am going to change it and I'm going to do something different with it. So yeah, we, we can always change things. We can always improve, right? Um, sometimes something's hanging on my wall for a year and I go, ooh, I, I want to do this with it. Do it. Do it, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
All right. Well, if you're not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle. I love to give out sprinkle gifts and let me know that you've done it because I can't always see um, that you sprinkled. If you have a private account, then I can't see that you've sprinkled. Okay. So if you have a private account, it will, it will sprinkle to your friends is what it'll do. Okay. So if you have friends that love crafty stuff, share this with them. I would love to have more people in here that love to craft. I don't just want your neighbor down the street that doesn't love stuff. <laughs> I don't want that. I would love to have more, more crafty people to share this with and to have fun. All right, let's turn this, let's try it. And then we get to start gluing together. Yay, this is the fun part. I love I love this part. And I'm trying to put my paintbrushes strategically. Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean some stuff. Let me, let me wipe this too. Let's wipe this. Okay, so these are the signs, if you're just hopping on, these are the ones that are going to go in here. America, Memorial Day, and 4th of July. Look at that. I just ombreed it. So uh, this one, I just painted all white, and then I painted blue at the bottom, and I painted some red, and then I just kind of ombreed it. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> I love that one. Okay, let's try this. Um, talk to this graphic designer today. She loves the idea of talking to her. We'll be talking to her. Oh, that's awesome. That is really cool. You'll, you'll have Navy and Air Force and Army in your family. Yes. So you need all of this. <laughs> so you need it. For, you, yeah. So you need it for sure. Dry, dry, dry. And then we're going to glue together. Thanks for sprinkling. I appreciate it. Yeah, just let me know that you sprinkled because that helps. For one, that, that helps me know that you did. And two, it's making a comment. Okay. So... Facebook sees that people are interested. And if you love this, give me some hearts. And if you haven't liked my page yet, um, please do that. If you like and follow, then it, sh it shows Facebook that, hey, people actually like this page. This girl might be doing something right. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe, right? Okay, I do, there's, some, there's some paint here. So what I'm gonna do is there's paint on this side. Let me just use my finger. There's paint right here. And then I'll just wipe my finger off. I just don't want it to be all in the way when I go to put stars. Okay. So that looks good. There's a little bit over here. I got really crazy with the blue. <laughs> the blue got out of control, guys. Okay. There we go. There's the blue. You got you got your sprinkle. Cap. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. I know. I love I loved being able to do that. Oh, hubby just got home. He is a, he's doing so good. He just went for his second walk today. Darlene needs to go for her first. Yeah. Um, my knee has been really bugging me, guys. So I, my knee swelled up huge again. And I'm not making excuses. It really, it really is. It's, it's like huge. <laughs> okay, we're going to glue this together. Let me make sure that we have everything the way it's supposed to be. This is the back. Okay. And then this is the front. So, so look at how it's open right here. That's where these pieces are going to slide down in there. These are not supposed to line up. So if you're seeing it go like that, that's intentional. It's supposed to be that way. This is going to go on here like this. And then we have lots of stars that go on there. Look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? Oh, thank you. Yeah, the Shopify, I, th I think it's going to be, be really good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get all the stars and I'm going to move them over to here. Isn't that cute? We'll glue it together. We're going to use a little bit of the hot glue on this part to make sure that it stays together. Getting all my stars. Oh, my stars. <laughs> I hope I didn't lose one. I hope. Okay. All right. So there's all the stars. Let's glue this part together. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to flip this over. And where is it going to glue at? Let me, let me double check this. The places it's going to hit are, okay, it's not going to hit everywhere. I don't need to put, if, if you flip this over, you'll see that a lot of it is like that. So it's going to be right on the edges. See where the glue is going to be? The glue is going to be like right on the edges. Okay, so you're not going to put glue down the center of this piece. And I can see that there's some, there is some paint in here. <laughs> there's some paint right there. All right, let me get that paint out. You don't, you can't get it out after. Let me get it out right now. All right. Come on. 
come on. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. All right. I think I think that's going to be okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tip this over. We're going to put glue on this piece. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of hot glue also. So let me grab my glue. I like to use Elliot's Tacky Glue because it is forgivable. <laughs> you know how I am, guys. You know how I am. So I have to put it on the edges. So this is the edge. And I don't think I put it all the way to there. Okay, so I need to put it here. And this part here has it. Okay. And then here. So each edge like this part, not necessarily down here because that's not going to touch. Okay. All right. I'm trying to think of what else funny happened. <laughs> There's a lot of silly things in my life that have happened. Where am I going to put hot glue? I'm going to put hot glue, let's see, up there. Yeah. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put hot glue. I hope that I'm putting these in the right place. I hope. <laughs> I am hoping that it works out. You know, it will dry and you can always flip it over. If you want to reinforce it, you can flip it over and you can add glue to it. Okay. So I always say that you can add glue if you need to from the back side. Okay. And then this, I'm going to put some hot glue right in the center of that. Um, let me just wipe off the center of that. That's where I'm going to put my hot glue is on that part. So that glues together. Okay. Does that make sense? You're thinking you need this for your vet. Oh yeah, exactly. He has crews that put flags up for holidays. Yes, exactly. They even better lighted poles. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think it's really, this is a really a good one. Okay. Let me do my hot glue. I only need my hot glue in two areas. I'm, it is hot. It is hot. <laughs> right there. Okay, so I really, ha I had a dream that I broke a glue gun, but now I'm thinking, did I really break it? I, I had a, I had a dream that I broke, I know I broke one here, but I had a dream that I broke another one. <laughs> I'm just not sure where it was. It was, it was kind of a funny dream. Okay, so then this is going to go here and then we match these up. So these little areas that are right here that go out like that, that gets matched up. And then press everything else down. Okay, does that make sense? So that's the area that is going to stay right now. That hot glue is going to glue. It's going to dry. It's going to cool. And that's going to stay. This part's going to kind of take a little bit to dry. There's a little bit of glue showing here and there. There's a little piece of paint that came from the other side. Let me get that off. <laughs> you guys. You know I can't do anything without messing a little bit of it up. There we go. Okay, so I have a little bit of glue in there. All you need to do is take your stylus, take a paper towel, get that glue out like that. Okay, easy peasy. All right, not a big deal. Not a big deal. And it's going to dry clear anyways. Okay. All right, so if you want to flip that over, and I have like... I don't know where that came from. If you have to touch up anything, you certainly can. I'm gonna flip this over and look at the back. If you wanted to reinforce this, you can put glue, hot glue all along there and let it just dry. We're not gonna do that, but if you wanted to, you could. Okay, so that's all, it's like a sun. Okay, now we have to put on this part. Okay, so this part's gonna go, does it go like this? Let me look at my cheat sheet, sorry. <laughs> I gotta look at the cheat sheet. Okay, it goes down it goes just like this okay I'm also going to use my hot glue gun the only places that it's going to hit on here is going to hit right along here just barely you don't want to put a lot of glue in there because I'll tell you what if you put I actually am just going to put a little bit because if I, if you get glue down in this part and you stick your piece in there because this is going to go like this Okay. If you stick that piece in there <laughs> and you have glue in there, it's staying. It is going to stay. It's not going to come out of there. Isn't that great? <laughs> okay. So we're going to make sure that we do not put too much glue. I think I'll use, I think I will actually use hot glue right here. Just like a touch, just a touch. Okay. And then I'm going to put glue. I'm actually going to put my glue on this one. I'm going to put my glue on the red part. Okay. So on this one, we're going to put glue here. 
here, here, and then we're gonna put hot glue. This glue is gonna hold it forever. The hot glue is gonna hold it right away, okay? So does that make sense? And then I'm gonna put a touch of hot glue right there. And then this part will go on. Okay, so, so glue right there, a gob of glue, a gob of glue, a tiny, tiny bit of glue right there, okay? I know, isn't this cute? I love it. Okay, and then this just goes on here, and then we'll glue on, <laughs> there's like some red, and we will glue on our stars. Okay, so get it in place, make sure it's in place, push it down, push it down, okay? We're gonna glue on all of our, our stars. Now I'm gonna look inside here, I'm gonna peek and make sure there's no hot glue sticking there. I don't think there is, okay? So, but, but isn't that great? Isn't that fun? Okay, stars. Put your stars in place. Make sure you know where your stars go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven stars there. And then each of these has a star. Each of the blue ones has a star. And it does, it does show on there. But <laughs> the blue, when I painted over the blue, it kind of covered it up. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to center them. Look at this. Isn't this great? This is great. So it's going to follow like that, okay? Your star is going to always go up towards the center, okay? Does that make sense? We're going to get these in place, and then we will glue them on. I have a little bit of an oopsie right there. I'm going to fix that. It's okay. There's, there's like just a little bit of red. Okay, just like that. See? Isn't that cute? I know. I love this. Let me just go in a little bit closer. Um, let's do this. Go. There you go. Okay, um, I'm going to start gluing them, and then we're going to use jute. We're going to use double a double thing of jute. Okay, and all you're going to do just put a tiny bit of glue on your stars. We're really not going to move this around a lot because we don't want our stars moving. I'm not going to use hot glue on the stars. I'm just going to glue right on. I just wanted this piece to to hold right away. Okay, the stars will be fine. The stars are gluing onto where they go. I'm going to stand up. I'll make sure. <laughs> Sitting down sometimes, guys, I can't really see. When I stand up, I'm like, oh, I need to move that one. All right. Isn't this fun? This is a super neat project. I love it. I love, love, love it. I think it's fabulous. I just, I just got the design a couple of days ago. It's new. New to me. <laughs> I have so many other projects to do. I have Christmas to do. Yeah, Christmas in May, of course, because that's what Darlene does. <laughs> I have a lot of our designs that we used to make for Christmas that I want to bring back. I would love to be able to share them with you. We have, okay, so guys, let me ask you this. <laughs> would you be interested in having cutouts to make all of the all of the Disney princesses if we called them something different okay so we would just have to call them princesses we wouldn't be able to call them Jasmine and and um, Ariel and all of that we have all of the like I have a lot of clean up on that one clean up on all three we have all the designs that we that we used to do custom stuff for Disney so we have all of the designs uh, and if we just called them princesses, maybe we could get away with that and share those files with you guys. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Okay, I put way too much. You know what? I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to go like this. I put way too much glue there. Let's get some of that off. Okay, and then let's put it back on. There we go. There we go. How about that? Hey, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but Darlene was thinking that I needed a lot more glue than I did. Yeah. So don't, don't be me. Put less glue than that. Okay. A lot less glue than that. Hubby's in there cooking and it smells good. <laughs> I don't know what he's cooking. It's something I can't have, but it smells really good. I'm just doing some cleanup. I'm using my stylus. Okay. So use your stylus and a paper towel to get some of that glue off. It will dry clear, okay? It will be fine. 
so it's not going to show. Um, okay, let's let's use the jute. I know. Yeah, I was thinking um, you need to see red, white, and blue when done. Yes, I will be doing all of them. <laughs> Every single one of them will be done. Um, yeah, the Disney princesses are, they're going to be so cute. So we used to sell, we used to sell all the ornaments. We used to do Disney stuff all the time. We just kind of got burned out. And we used to sell, we used to sell directly to people that sold to Disney. <laughs> pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So, all right, let me do this. Let me tie a knot here. Okay. I probably should have tied it on the other end first. Let me find my scissors. Scissors, where are you? Okay, so I tied a knot in the jute. And we're using double jute. Okay, so we're using two thicknesses. I'm going to thread it through here and let's just get it started. And then we're going to figure out how long do I want this to be. Okay, so thread it through here. I love using jute. Okay, let's, let's do the Memorial Day one. Let's put that one in. Okay, that one's going to go in. It just fits right. There's a slot, remember? There's a slot right there. Okay, so this is going to be about like that. Okay, so you, it's going to go behind there. I think that we want it to be about like that. Okay, so let's feed this through. It's going to come from the back. Just kind of pinch that. It will go through. The hole is big enough. Okay, so the hole is big enough for that. And let's figure out what's our length. Right like that. And then tie your knot. And there's paint in the hole. <laughs> so so that jute just got a little bit of paint on it. So the, the jute's a little bit red. It's okay though. It's okay. All right, there's that. And there we go. All right. And I will get back to, I have some messages to return. I honestly just was struggling yesterday trying to get stuff done for work. And I did not get to every single message, but I will. Let me get some of this cleaned up. Right here. I'm just get a little bit more cleaned up. Clean up on all three. Or all four. Or all five. <laughs> a little bit of cleanup. Not a big deal. Okay. And it will dry clear. Just use a tiny bit. Guys, you don't have to use as much as I did. Okay. So there we go. Here's Memorial Day. Isn't that cute? And then you just slide it out. Memorial Day's over. Okay. Wait, let's, let's put some everyday in there. We're just going to do some America. But I am going to do liberty and I'm going to do just, uh, I'm going to do justice. No, I'm going to do liberty and I'm going to do freedom. Okay, so so there's America. That's available. I'll post these. Okay, so I won't have a picture of freedom or liberty yet, but I will. Okay, there's 4th of July. What do you think? I think they're super cute. Unplug my glue guard. Thank you. <laughs> you know me too well. Is the wording layered? The wording is layered. I painted it beforehand just to save time. It's two layers. So this is one layer on the back. And then the words are are a second layer and it's just a little bit size bigger. Okay. So um yes, they are they are layered to give it that look and to give you this piece that slides down into there. So if you're designing it, you have to have that extra piece that goes down inside. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I love this one. Give me some hearts if you love it. The hearts are right here by your comment button. Those are the hearts I'm talking about. I'm giving myself some hearts because I love it so much. <laughs> All right. Let me put you up to myself. Let me get off of the screen. <laughs> Take the glasses off. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think? I'm going to be really careful with it. Okay. So I don't want my stars to start moving. So I'm going to do it just for a second here. Isn't that cute? That is super cute. This will be fun on my front door. Yeah, it'll be fun. So I can put I can put the Memorial Day one. And then I can change it out. So that's what I'll do. I'll put the Memorial Day one. And it'll be there for a couple of days. <laughs> and then I think I will do Freedom or, or Liberty for, for my other one. What do you think, guys? You love it? I love it. I think it's a fun one. <laughs> So thank you for being here with me. I know it's a long project. It would have been even longer if I had painted these guys with you, right? <laughs> okay, these are easy. These are just layered. They're just glued on there. I just ombre this just like you would ombre your chalk paste. Yeah, that's what I did. So it's 
So there we go, guys. I'm loving it. If you have questions, let me know. I will be posting this. I'll put it on both the Etsy store and on Shopify because we're keeping both for right now. Um, just to have, we're going to overlap about a month. And then and then Shopify for the wood cutouts will go bye-bye. You're just kind of phasing it out just slowly just and making sure it all works. Making sure that we get paid on time too. <laughs> That's always important. So thank you guys. All right. With Liberty or Freedom, um, you would put on your wall. Yes, absolutely, Karen. So I know. And Billy, I owe you a message. I owe you an invoice. I did see your message. I just didn't get back to you. Sorry. I tell you, I try so hard. I really do. <laughs> so I will, I will get back with you. Um, all right, guys. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. I'll be getting ready tomorrow. I'll be packing. But I will be here at the same time yeah, tomorrow on Sunday. And then um, Monday, I will it, hopefully, hopefully a video will post. I'm going to work on that. I'll work on some of those tonight to auto post. If it doesn't happen, guys, you know, you will survive, right? <laughs> you will survive if it doesn't happen. Um, it will be fine. I will be flying Monday. I'll be getting there to Idaho um, by one o'clock in the afternoon. And then Tuesday all day is um, memorial service and burial and all that lunch, all this stuff. And then Wednesday, heading back home that fast. Boom. So, all right, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening.